All right, in this video we're going to uh, show you how to use a Report Builder 3.0 and to connect into a Report Server. As you can see here, I've got a SQL Server Management Studio open and I have installed three versions. I've got SQL 2012, which is a developer version, and Enterprise version is the same thing. You can see down here that, I've, that I have installed this so that it uses native a Report Server. And then if we drop on down, I've got SQL Server Express installed also, and I installed that also with Report Server. If you're working with SQL Server Express 2012, one of the downloads will allow you to install full tools plus a Report Server. Word to the wise, if you're installing this on a Windows 7 machine, disable <coughs> UAC. Otherwise, uh, you will, it, you'll never be able to run a report, at least I haven't been able to get it going, using Report Server with an Express installation. That won't be a problem with uh, developer or enterprise. And then I also have uh, SQL 2008 R2 installed in, uh, down here you can see it in Report Server, and it is also integrated. All right, just to show you that. Now let's go through, and I've, I've pre-started some of this stuff so that you won't have to suffer through watching them start. So I've got a report builder, if I can find it. Yeah, I've got three instances running. Let me open that on up. And as you see down here, I'm already connected into Express. If you look in the lower bottom, I'm gonna click Disconnect. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna click Connect to a report builder. And we're gonna cancel out of that. Click in again, and I'm gonna clear this on out. And the object here is trying to figure out what report server you wanna connect into. So the way you're going to do that, let me close this for a minute to clean up the display, is you're gonna use configuration tools, start all programs, and now I'm gonna drill into, let's uh, go in and take a look at R2. And then I'll go into configuration tools, reporting services, configuration manager, and fire that on up. And now it wants to connect into work, which is the name of my server, which is really, it's not a server, it's a Win7 box. And reporting server instance, what I want to do down here is you see MS SQL is my default, and that's fine with me, and I'll connect on into that. All right, and now if I come over, you see this web server URL? Now here's my web server URL, and I've got a, a couple of them. I've got integrated down here because I, this box is actually set up to uh, uh, connect into uh, SharePoint. So you see it's Virtual Directory's Report Server integrated, and that would connect me into SharePoint, which is beyond the scope. So that's really not what I want to show you. So I'm gonna pause for a second and go back through and reopen. Okay, I started everything, so you wouldn't have to wait five minutes for me to get everything running again. And now I'm over again looking at SQL Server 2008 R2 and I'm connected into instance two of R2, that's just the name of the box down here. And I went into the web service URL. Oh, first off, let me show you down here. See, it is in native mode. Go into the web service URL, and here's what you wanna see. If you click on that, it's gonna open the URL, which I'll do in just a second. And here is the report manager URL, which is also different. What you wanna do is you wanna open both this and this to make sure they start. And you'll have, here is your work re server instance two, and then the other one is the report manager, which you see is the same thing, but it's got the slash pages folders ASPX page firing on up. So let's go over and show you how to configure this. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna switch back to uh, report builder. And okay, this is good. This one's not connected, so I'm going to say connect into a server, and I'm going to clear that. And okay, so it's connected into X Express, but I don't want it to. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to come back over here and copy the report server instance to, not from report manager, but from the uh, web service URL. Actually, you can copy this, you just have to back it up, and why go through the agony? of fat fingering something. So I'm gonna copy that, control C. Let's go back over to Report Builder. And I'm gonna click Connect. And I'm control V, paste it on in. Connect. And it says it's connected. Do we trust it? No. So let's test it. I'm gonna just do a modification up here. It doesn't really matter. And we're gonna click the Run. There's Test. I'll go back to Design View. And now let's make sure everything works. I'm going to click the orange uh, globby button up here. 
I'm going to say save as and this will fire on up and I'm just going to call it test and notice it's in the report server instance 2 and I'll say save cool now I'm going to close report builder and I'm going to come back over to the report manager All right, I'm going to refresh there's test I'll double click it and it runs all right so you now have report builder which is integrated and you do it the same for um, Express the same for uh, SQL 2012 let me show you you have little faith so let me close out of this and we're done with this let me close SSMS and start 12 all programs and let's find SQL 2012 um, by the way, if you're installing SQL 2012 in SharePoint integrated mode, it's a much easier install than it used to be. Um, okay, so let's go into where, where do, Reporting Services Configuration Manager again, and I'm tying in the report. SQL 2012 sounds fine. Again, here's my web service URL, and I'm just going to click that, to let that open. See the difference? Close that. And let's go over to Report Manager URL. And that'll take a year or two to come on up. But in the meantime, let's open Report Builder. All right. And we're going to click Connect. And I'm going to cancel to show you it's tied into Express because that's the way I set this up by default. Control Copy. Back to Report Builder. Connect. Control V. Connect. It says that I'm connected, but we, you know, don't trust anything. We've been at this a long time. And now we're going to say save as and test 12. Save. Flip. Come on, save. Da, 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 da. Okay, close. Let's go over to the report manager and we will refresh. There's test 12. And that's up and running. Okay, and one more thing. Let me pause a second. Okay, I restarted the uh, 12 uh, uh, configure, reporting services configuration manager and I tied into Express. And again, my web service URL. And again, my report manager. And while that comes up, let's copy this. Start report builder. Do, 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 do. And I'm just going to close the wizard and I'm going to disconnect so that I can connect again. Connect. Disconnect. Come on. Connect. Oh, that's right. She's going to give me a problem here. Let me do it this way. File. I'm going to go options and we'll just paste that little turkey in there. Okay. Gotcha, you little communist. And now I'm connected down there. Let's try it and we'll call this test yeah, express. Sounds fine. Save as test express. Save. Close. Let it save. So impatient. Let it close. Back over to report manager. And all right, I've already been fooling around here. Anyway, let's refresh. There's Test Express. That was a connection string that you saw that I've been saving earlier. And there's Test Express. Isn't that fascinating? All right, so that's how you do it. And you know, it's easiest to copy and paste in from the web service URL. That way, you're not fat fingering it. And if you're tying into an integrated install. That is, you're using SharePoint for your report management to bring in the uh, content management features of SharePoint. I'm sorry, sorry. Anyway, um, then you're going to do it the same way. So you'll just be copying in then the URL from uh, SharePoint, the integra uh, integrated. Okay, I fire this up one more time, my 2008 R2, and you see a SharePoint integrated, report server integrated down here. And that's how you know. If you remember on the other one, it said native, and that'll say integrated.